Hey guys, it's Rebecca. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to definitely subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys my perfect technique to achieve a low bun and it works out every single time. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is taking an oil and applying it all over my scalp. I'm really going to make sure that I can coat my scalp because with all the gel and everything I'm going to be putting on my hair, I want to make sure my scalp is going to be protected. So I'm using my Kin Essentials HG Hair Growth Oil and I'm going to just massage it all the way through and the excess I will smooth over the lengths of my hair. Next, I'm going to be parting my hair. I'm going to be taking my edge brush and just using the comb side and splitting my hair into a middle part to make it as straight back as possible. Of course, if it's not perfect, it's okay. Now I'll be taking my spray bottle and I am going to be spraying the top part of my hair. That is where I'll be applying leave-in and the gel and brushing. So it's so much easier if my hair is wet when I do this process. Another way to make this process so much easier is just to take a scrunchie and loosely put it around my hair so I don't have to worry about holding my hair back and smoothing it while wetting it and applying product. It's just so much easier. The leave-in conditioner that I'll be using today is the Miss Jessie's leave-in condition. It really does not matter what leave-in conditioner you use as long as it's moisturizing and I haven't used this one in forever so I thought I might as well use it. I'm applying a generous amount all over my hair and I'm just going to smooth it over the top, not the ends, just the top, and then I'll be taking even more water and continue to apply more product. To help with the smoothing process, I'm going to be taking my Demon brush and just gently trying to brush back my hair. Using the Demon brush first will help to like loosen up any tangles and to start to smooth my hair. And next, I'm going in with the Careco smoothing brush. This has hard bristles and soft rubber bristles, so it's like a good in-between combination to where I can smooth my hair, but this will also help to brush back the tangles. Now it's time for gel. I'm going to be taking Eco Styler gel and I pretty much go crazy with this gel. I apply quite a lot because I want to make sure my hair stays and this day I was going to a game so I had to make sure that my hair would stay slick. So I'm just applying a lot literally everywhere. And then I'm taking more water and brushing more just to help to disperse the gel because if you're trying to brush gel with no water at all, it's kind of hard to do so water just helps and I'm just going to continue brushing to make sure it's all smooth. Now that my hair is getting to the point where it's going to be as smooth as it can be, I am taking off the scrunchie and I'm just going to continue to brush and then I'm going to start to brush and hold. This will just help to make sure that like it's not going to get loose or anything as I'm brushing all the other parts because I'm getting ready to do the ponytail. Once I think it's all smooth, now it's time to actually do the ponytail and I'm using this really tight silk scrunchie. It's always great for me to use ponytails and putting hair into a ponytail, especially curly hair, is quite a struggle. But I finally got it in so I'm just pulling the ponytail to make sure it's all nice and tight and then I'm taking even more gel and just smoothing it over just to add like the finishing touches to the gel. Now it's time for one of my favorite parts and it is my edges. So the first thing I'm going to do is just brush my edges back and I'm going to be using my red eco styler gel to lay my edges. I usually use an edge control. So I just decided to go with the eco gel and I'm just smoothing the gel over my edges and then I will take my edge brush and just brush it through a couple times just to make sure it looks good. my edges are all done and now it's time to twist the bun i just do a simple twisted bun nothing crazy at all i just twist all my hair and then put a hair tie around it
And then just adding a little more gel where I feel like I could definitely use some more. To make sure my edges stay laid and the front part just is as smooth as it can be, I'm taking this silk scarf tie thingy. I can never remember the actual name. And I'm tying it around my edges. This is my perfect working every single time low bun tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below how you put your hair into a low bun or if you like this method that I do. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow my Instagram if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>